hi guys welcome back to my channel i am shelby of shelby in the book club and if you're new here welcome if you're returning welcome back in today's video we're going to talk about some dnfs <laughs> what does dnf stand for you ask the books that i did not finish do, did not finish do not finish whatever the case may be um i feel like i struggle with dnfs and i feel like some of y'all may also as well struggle with dnfs as well because i know for me at least it has a lot to do with um i bought the book it's mine i thought i was gonna like it and now i don't like it should i finish it should i not finish it so on and so forth so i wanted to talk about some books that i have not finished and um yeah and how i kind of navigate through that how i decide if i'm gonna finish something if i'm not gonna finish something and so on and so forth so if you would like to hear it here it go but before we start make sure you are subscribed make sure you like and make sure you share also comment i love talking to you guys it is so much fun listening to y'all and how y'all felt about books or what books you've read that i've talked about or what books you didn't read so on and so forth so make sure you like comment and subscribe and here we go okay so before we get into the books because i have maybe like five or six of them right here that i have not finished um let's talk about how i navigate this so for i still struggle with it um especially with doing um tbrs and stuff like that because I'm like, okay, I really thought I really wanted to read this, but I didn't get to it. Or I really wanted to read this and I attempted it and I didn't like it. And I said I was going to do maybe a reading vlog or whatever the case may be. And I can like get in my own way about that kind of stuff. But my rule of thumb is, is if I can't get past the first 50 pages, I'm just going to put it down. And for a long time, I've been saying to myself now, I'm not always buying books for present day Shelby. A lot of the time I'm buying books for Shelby in the future. So if I don't like this book right now, if I can't get through it right now, for whatever the reasoning may be, Shelby in six months may love the book. Shelby in a year may love the book. Shelby in 10 years may pick it up and be like, oh my gosh, it is amazing everything is not for you in the here and the now and i think that's something that's important to know because we are ever changing we are ever growing so the version of yourself that you are today may just not resonate with this book right now but there was something about it that you the universe god whoever you believe in knows that you're going to need eventually <laughs> and when it's time you have the book it's there for you or maybe you bought it and it's meant for you to pass on you know so stop beating yourself up I'm mostly talking to myself here. Stop beating yourself up. It's not that serious. You will get to it eventually. Okay? Okay. So, first on the list, we have The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. I did not like this book at all. Um, I maybe got through the first... I don't even think I could get to 50 pages. Um, and a lot of the reasoning being, I have no idea what this book was about. I have no idea what I was reading. The, the, the text of it was very confusing for me. Um, I couldn't tell who was alive. I couldn't tell who was dead. I couldn't tell, um, what was a flashback versus what was present day i just i couldn't get with it and it's supposed to be creepy and like i also haven't read a lot of horror so maybe that might be a thing too like maybe i need to ease my way into horror because there's another book that i did not finish called the supermarket hold on because it's right here we about y'all getting another y'all getting another one now, Supermarket, this book is a mess. Wait, I don't... Supermarket, who is by Bobby Hall, a.k.a. Logic, who is a Grammy-nominated platinum record-selling artist, who, I'm not going to say I loved him, love him as an artist, but this book, I was like, what? I can't, I, what? Girl, I, no, <laughs> not at all. This is another one. It... I think it might just be the genre of like horror creepy stuff that I just excuse me cannot get into the writing style 
I can't get into it. And, like, I wanted to like Supermarket because I wanted to like both of these because the synopsis sounded really, really good. Like, for Supermarket, it says, Flynn is stuck, depressed, recently dumped, and living at his mom's house. The supermarket was supposed to change all that. An ordinary job and a steady check. Work isn't work when it's saving you from yourself. But things aren't quite as they seem in these aisles. Arriving to work one day to a crime scene, Flynn's world collapses as the secrets of his tortured mind are revealed. And Flynn doesn't want to go looking for answers at the supermarket. Because something there seems to be looking for him, a dark, funny, psychological thriller, supermarket is a gripping exploration into madness and creativity. Who knew you could find sex, drugs, and murder all in aisle nine? It, the first couple of pages... Like, I got eight pages in, and I was like, the answer to that is absolutely, absolutely not. No. But I hope that one day, like, I actually can read it and, like, actually like it. Okay, next we have The Fortune Man by Nadifa Muhammad. I bought this book. I'm going to be very honest with you. I bought it because there are black men on the cover. I will buy any book that has black people on the cover I don't really care what it's about um I'm gonna buy it but this one seemed interesting um about a young Somali sailor who's accused of a crime that he did not commit and you know it was giving me um mystery type vibes whatever um couldn't get into the writing style couldn't get into it I just was like I'm bored to death I'd rather peel my eyelashes out than to read this right now. Like, the, there, I feel like every book has a groove, right? And when you're reading it, either you're going to catch the groove or you're not. And I could not catch the groove in this. But I hope that... I want to try it again, though. Because, like, the cover is giving me very much, like, 1990s book releases or, like, 80s book releases, which I thought was really cool. Um... And this was a Booker Prize finalist, which I'm realizing about myself that, like, every time it's time for me to read a book that's a finalist or award of some sort, I never like it. Um, so I think I might be broken. Um, but yeah, it was like, it was like carrying on and on and I was just like, I can't do this. Next, we have Lucky Boy by Shanti, Shanti Sekram, Sekra, Se Sakrahan, Sekaran, Lucky Boy. I stopped reading this because it is extremely sad. <laughs> it probably is a really good book. It was extremely, extremely sad. And I think I got more than 50 pages in and like I it, it was so sad like I wanted to throw this book in the garbage like it was just so sad and I don't know that I'll ever pick this one up again because it was just like oh they can't catch a break they cannot catch a break and like I was hoping I don't mind a sad book let me let me let's go into that I don't mind a book that's sad that that's that don't bother me um, but this one was just, like, the writing was really good, and I guess it was so good that, like, I felt like I was the girl that was running away and being bamboozled and all of that. I just, I could, I could not do it with Lucky Boy. I, I don't know how the boy turns out to become lucky or anything. I, it was just sad. Next, that book wasn't supposed to be in this pile. Um, next we have The Teller of Secrets by Essie Ajapan. Um, what did I do? I got 114 pages into this. I felt like every chapter was the same in some way. I wanted to like it. I wanted to so bad. I wanted to finish it. I thought it was going to be good. I did recommend this book. Um, and the, if you've read this, read that. Because I can see people enjoying this book if they have enjoyed other 
Like, if you enjoyed... What the heck is... A Girl is a Body of Water, you probably will enjoy this. But I felt like... I felt like I had read it before. I felt like each chapter wasn't necessarily leading to somewhere. It was just each chapter was an example of the main character's demise, maybe, or their confusion, or, like, why they did it wasn't shit, or something like that. Like, it all led back to family trauma, and I it just wasn't wrapping itself up fast enough for me. So, The Teller of Secrets... I keep having the urge to pick it up again because I kind of want to know what happens to to the main character. But I don't know. And then, last but certainly not least, we have The Jigsaw Man by Nadine Matheson. I did not get through this book because I felt like it was more about why the detective... didn't like her job and like where she was at in life and not about the crime itself like i'm i want to know about the crime <laughs> i am a true crime lover i would like to know about the crime i want to know about the crime i want to know what what made the murderer a murderer i want to know why we are chasing this person like okay the body washed up on shore and it it was missing limbs and stuff okay cool it's a serial killer out there why why do I need to know that the detective's daddy has dementia? Why do I why am I even concerned about her love life? There is a serial killer in the outside. Are we not all alarmed? No? Okay, cool. So yeah, that's why I didn't finish this one. I do want to go back to this because I feel like there's potential in here, but I mean, I guess we do have, I guess with character development, um, I guess with all of that stuff, like, we do need to know about the detective, but, like, do we really? Do we really? Do we really? I don't know. I just, I, I, I couldn't get into the groove of it. I do have one more. Um, let me reach across here and get it so that y'all can see, um, all of my pores. Um... And let me not be embarrassing and put a real bookmark in here. So this one is a do not finish only because, or did not finish only because I started watching the TV show. And I think I'm going to do a separate video on this book because I want to know if you guys want to do like a YouTube read along or whatever the case may be and then we can watch the show together so the reason that I did not finish this one is because I have started watching the show and I really like the show but I want to read the book too because I haven't read the book since high school so I get is it is it really a do not finish is it is it really a DNF because I read it in high school and not like read it in high school as a part of school reading I read it in high school at my own volition um it is The Last Days of Ptolemy Gray by the one and only Walter Mosley. It is now a TV show on Apple Plus, um, on Apple TV. Um, and Samuel L. Jackson is in it, and it is very, very good. The one thing that I will say about this book, which I can see, I remember in high school struggling to get into it because I did not realize that it is about mm -hmm. a character. Um who has dementia. Um, so I remember in high school, like, it took me a while to read this because the um, stream of consciousness is all over the place and there aren't really chapters, whereas they are, like, chunks of his thoughts where he is lucid and when he is not lucid. Um, Walter Mosley is a phenomenal writer. Samuel Jackson is acting his ass off. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do a separate video on this because I think I want to read this together, but I don't know if I necessarily want it to be a book club pick, you know, I think I want it to just be like something over here. We can get a reading vlog, maybe. I don't know. I'll think about that. But this is also, did not finish a uh, DNF for when I'm recording this because I put it down because 
I want to like finish out the show I think and then watch it or or and then read it or finish reading it and then watch the show I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know but the show is the reason why I didn't finish this one <laughs> or why I haven't finished reading that one yet um so without further ado that is the end of the video let me know below how do you guys handle DNFs how do you guys navigate that in your lives um and because I want to know um and maybe your advice can help someone else um which is overall the point of my channel <laughs> is that we can all help each other to read more to introduce each other to new books and so on and so forth so don't forget to like comment subscribe before you go I love talking to you guys and if no one has told you today I love you um don't forget that there's someone out there that loves you and it's me right even if no one else has told you today sometimes people don't necessarily know how to say that they love you because they don't love themselves so how can they do something that they don't practice every day you know like how can they do it without faking it but know that I love you <laughs> I love you you are kind you are smart and you are extremely important to me and to so many other people in the world even though they don't necessarily voice it don't forget that okay I will see you next video. Bye, guys.